Alright, exercise 12.2. Uh, differentiation. Right, so part I, one part I. So y is equal to x squared. So to differentiate, just look it up. Um, dy, so you're right. D means differentiate. Look it up. Put that away. Y and x. So y, y is on top, x is on the bottom. Alright, so you multiply the power times the number in front of the x. The number, the missing number is 1. 2 times 1, look up. It's 2. Write down the x. And then subtract 1 from there. 2x to the 1 is the same as 2x. Lock it up. Finish it. Lock up. Right, this is part IV. Right. The missing power there is 1. Now, dy, y is on top, x is on the bottom. So you go 1 times, well, here's a quick way. The quick way of differentiating, if, there's a, if it's an 8x, quick way of differentiating is just get rid of the x. Get rid of the letter. The answer is minus 8. Uh, part, I'll go back a little bit. Part 3. Just sit down. Sit down for a second. Alright, dy dx. Differentiate. 3 times 2 is 6. Look it up x and reduce the power by 1. Uh, this is the way I want the homework done out. We'll look at another one. Uh, part IV. So y is equal to a half. x to the power of 2. So it's dy. y first, x second. y first, x second. So two times a half. Two halves are one. X and reduce the power by one. Look it up. Subtract one from that. Two X. You can also write it as just X. So there are the question ones. Question twos. All right, it's just using different letters. Right, so instead of using x and y, we're using s and t. So differentiate. So s is the first, so s on top, t is second, t goes on the bottom. The s dt. Differentiate s with respect to t, it's called. Right, uh, what do you do if it's just a letter? If that was 2x, what would the answer be? Just get rid of the x. It's 2t, so just get rid of the t. The answer is 2. Now, S is the first letter, goes on top, T is the second letter, goes on the bottom. So we put two Multiply 2 times the 3, this is the one of the sums. 2 times 3 is 6, T, subtract 1 from that, or you can just write it like that, 6T. So we put 2 um, Picking the sums from the book. Right, uh, another one. So... S is equal to one third T to the power of three. So the first letter is S, that goes on top. The second letter is T, that goes on the bottom. Now, three times one third is one. Reduce that by one. Two. It can also be written as just T squared. Right, that's question two done. Question three. Y 
y is equal to a half x squared. So again, d. So the first letter is y, the second letter is x. This is called differentiating, differentiation. And is there, is there a name for y next? Um, well, this is, the, this is a function. You can use it to draw a graph. Right, the first thing you do is 2 times a half is 1. x, subtract 1 from that. So that can also be written as just x. Right. Mm, no, there's a is equal to pi r squared. Now, watch this. Pi is a number, such as it's 3.14, it's a number. So what we're going to do is write d and d. What's the first letter? The first letter is a, that goes on top, and r. So what we do is 2 times pi is 2 pi. Write down the r and subtract 1 from the power. Do you notice anything about the formula? That's the formula for the area of a circle. That's the formula for the circumference of a circle. So another one from question 3. A is equal to a half pi r squared. So the first letter is A, look it up, and the second letter is R. Right, first of all, look it up. So R is here, and remember pi is a number with 3.14. So it's two times both of these. First of all, 2 times a half is, so it's 1 pi. So, so a half a pi, if you double it, you get a pi, right? And then r, and then subtract 1 from the power. So you, know, you can get rid of the 1s, so it's pi r, that's the answer. You notice know, that uh, pi is 3.14? Yeah. And the bottom one is just yeah so what happens if you take pi and you half it it's a half pi isn't it so for example if if you're talking about a pastry for apple 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 pie what happens if you take pi and you half it you've got half a pi what happens if you then multiply it the half by two you've You've got your pi back. So half a pi, two halves is full pi. Right, another one. C is equal to two pi r. So C goes on the left, r goes on the right. Okay, so this is the number in front of r. So r to the power of 1, isn't it? So first thing we do is 1 times 2 pi is write down the r. And what we do is we reduce, we get rid of, we reduce, well, actually, a better example. If that was 2 pi x, what do you do? You get rid of the x. And because it's R, what do we do? We get rid of the R. Remember, pi is a number, 3.14 times 2, uh, 6.28. So this is 6. Point, all right? This is 6.28, 2 pi. Could you write that as well? Uh, well, they'd prefer if you wrote the answer like that. Um, another one. V is equal to x to the power of 3. So V on the left, sorry, v on, v on the top, x on the bottom. All right, so the missing number here is 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. x, and reduce the power by 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. 
Right, some, some of the ones from... Right, well, if we move on to question four. Now, what you do here... I probably should have... You do them individually. So Y is the, is the letter on the left, so that goes on top. And X is the letter on the right, so that goes in the bottom. Right, so first of all, we'll look at 4X squared. Differentiate that. So 2 times 4 is 8. <coughs> X, and reduce that by 1. 8X1 or 8X. What happens when you differentiate 2X? You get rid of the X and you get 2. What happens when you differentiate zero. a constant? Zero. You get zero. But instead of writing in plus zero, we just leave it blank. <coughs> right, another one. They're all pretty much the same. We do IV, so Y is equal to 3X squared. That's 3, sorry. 3x3 3 4x squared minus 3x plus 8. dy dx. Well, I'll do the first one here. So 3 times 3 is 9. x reduce the power by 1 this way. 2 times 4 is 8. x the power of 1, which is 8x. What do you do when you differentiate? It's just minus 3. Differentiate it, it's plus zero, which is just leave it blank. Okay, uh, now in question five, you're just using it's pretty much the same. Question five is pretty much the same, and question six, they're just tricking you. What happens if you differentiate that before? So dy dx is equal to zero. Uh, what happens if you differentiate minus eight? You get zero. What happens if you differentiate uh, a half? You get zero. What happens if you differentiate square root of two? The square root of two is a number. Any number. Square root of two. Square root of two is one point. Four one four two one three five six two. What happens if you differentiate that? You get zero. What happens if you differentiate a decimal? Zero point two five. You still get zero. If you differentiate, all right. Does that make better sense? Yeah. 